Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Starmane. And what was I doing? I was building a... Who's a mom? Watch it for the thing of a bob. Alright. Let me refresh my memory real quick. Should have done that off camera. Yeah, I should have. You know, that's life. Hmm. I should probably have, uh... Where am I? What am I doing? Oh, I should probably have something that uh, like blocks off this this hallway when the um, when the uh, bed is up. All right. Now I would like to come out here and actually that looks good. I'm I'm thinking. Let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. All right. So let's do something like this. You're not thinking very well. No, thinking is not my strong, strong suit. So I am thinking, however, that I need to do a door. So let's logic it up. Uh, like a hanger door type deal. Uh, let's lower you down. Now, how am I going to do this? Because I needed to stretch the entire length. And it has got stuck on something. There we go. Why is that? Oh, I can... From this point, this point down, it could be a regular rail. Huh. Let's go ahead and do that from this point down being regular rail. Why? Why not? Let's see. Let's uh, uh, yeah. control middle click and like this. So you're going the wrong way, JW. What? You're kidding, right? I know they went the wrong way. It doesn't matter because I got them wired up to change. All right. There we go. Because I only need the invisible where it goes above the, um, this. It goes above the this. Yeah. I can English good today. Well, all right. I'm still thinking. This needs to come out. Preferably using, uh armor instead of rail. And right in here we're gonna do the door logic. So let's uh, let's bring this down a little. The door logic and rail. There we go. So the door logic and rail shouldn't be shouldn't be excessively difficult. And I'm going to need a go this way and a go that way. And do I want to do it go this way and that way or do I want to go this way and a that way? Let's go this way and a that way instead of a that way and a this way. All right. Okay, so let's... And I did check my Discord this morning, and I saw that Sven had uh, posted something in the download links that looked like he said it was a template, a uh, better template of an airlock. And I will need to look at that at some point, but I have not loaded it in yet. Thank you, Sven, for for uh, suffering through looking at my perfect logic to create a a, uh, a better docking thing. <laughs> I maybe he said it my logic made his brain hurt. Whichever. Alright, let's see. So that goes that way, this goes this way. This is not gonna be an overly complex uh, device here. In fact, let's take you down. 
here, and it just wants to be a door like this. Let's see, uh, how long is this door? It's like 42-ish. It's 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 54. Calling car 54. I never actually saw that program. 55. Oh, 55. Ooh, I don't need it tall. I need it wide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh, yeah. And I don't need it that wide anymore. I just about uh, that wide. Yeah, a little less wide. There we go. So now, when I hit the button, we I can not that button. The store will open, and let's wire him up as a a flip flop doodad. We're gonna do the flip flop doodad here. All right, that works. So, flip-flop is open, not is closed. Okay, so, did I really need a flip-flop? I don't know. Oh, here's another excellent question. I've never tried this. Can rails trigger... Oh, can rails trigger, um, small buttons? I, I don't know, I've not tried this. Will they? No. Stuck on. Stuck on something. Oh. Okay. Now let's try it. It didn't get tall enough, the door was in the way. It does not look like a rail will trigger a button. Or a, uh, a fake button. So it'll trigger a regular... Oh, I didn't know invisible rail triggered logic. Huh. It does a real button, but it does not trigger a fake button. Cool. That's something I need to keep in mind. So... Excellent question. How long does it take to open? Uh, this door needs to open much faster. I just know that. Uh, where's my f door opener faster thing? There's my door opener faster. Are we going to stick uh, open faster here and a module there? There's a link all those. So now. I think it just needs one to open the fastest, or does it need two? It just needs one because it's percent based, dummy. Five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi, eleven Mississippi, thirteen Mississippi, fourteen Mississippi, thirteen seconds. I think I skipped twelve Mississippis. And let's make sure that it does have enough clearance for it to raise the ship. That's one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So we need to get 13 seconds to open the door. Hmm. That should come out. Did that stop or did that come flush? It stopped. All right, so let's hop in here and get rid of that. There we go. There we go. Let's hop back into the main ship. Where am I? I don't know anymore. I'm confused. No, that was probably the dumb thing I did. That was a dumb thing I did. Because by deleting that.
I didn't actually solve my problem, I just created a different one. Because that would have left a gap here at the floor. The smart, proper, actual thing to do would have been to add one more block to the end. But how many times have you seen me do the smart, proper thing? Uh oh. Now let's try going up. Alright. Is it missing a. Oh, I thought that was missing a thruster. No, it was just that one poking out. Alright. And click. Perfect. Alright. Well, those are just kind of boring, plain looking, uh. Plain, boring looking things. Or plain, planning platforms. I'm just trying to get it to work right. I don't care about pretty yet. <laughs> Actually, I probably won't care about pretty at all. Alright. I think I think we got it. Awesome. So let's see. What how am I gonna what how what how am I gonna do this now? Now this button no longer needs to no longer needs to control um, something. It no longer needs to control the flip flop for the for the main. Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Let's let's do you as green. So when the ship is in the lower position we're green. Let's see. Yellow is going to be The door is opening. Alright, so how long did I say? Is it 13 seconds? So 13 seconds by 2. So it's by 13 by 2. Because um, each block is half a second. Alright, so I've made a very basic clock here, and let's grab you, and we go clicky, and that should not be uh, lifting that anymore, but I didn't change the logic, just making sure all my clock bits are right. Uh, let's lower that now. Oh, you have to hit R, GW. Let's disconnect it, and... Alright, so that's the end one. This is not going to trigger that. I think. But this will also trigger... Uh, this button is going to trigger, or this delay is going to trigger this button, and this button is going to trigger the open command. Alright. I'm not worried about the flip-flop right now. I'm just trying to get the door to open and close. I'm trying to get the timing for opening. I'll get the sequencing and all that here in a little bit. Oh, probably, nope, not a little bit. Ain't got that much time. So, I'm going to hit the button, it's going to open, and let's see if my timing is right. And... 
Not quite. Oh! That worked. That worked beautifully. Okay. That actually works. My timing was not what I thought. I apparently counted something wrong. That was glorious. Alright. I'm impressed. I'm impressed, and this has been Starmate. <laughs> anyway, I've had fun today getting logic timing to work, and uh, I don't know what my brain is wanting to watch the door and talk to you at the same time, and I'm doing neither particularly well. Anywho, I've been GW608, this has been StarMade. We're going to work out the logic to get all this working properly next time. And I'll dig you cats later.